got a visual on it. Lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-62. What's up agents and welcome back to another division video. Today we're going to go over a slight variation of a previous build because in the comments we got it a lot. Try this out, do it like this, try it like that. So I thought, you know what, I'll try and please everybody and I will put it together. Before we get started though, be sure to hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and hit the bell so you are notified when I upload more division videos. We are grinding to 10,000 subs, You got your support has been amazing recently so thank you very very much. So if you've not already subscribed, please do subscribe. Or come on over to Twitch and hit follow. I could be live streaming right now. That's enough of that. Let's get on with the build. So you are going to need sharpshooter and you're going to want to spec into rifle damage. Absolutely awesome. And we're going to go over to the range. And there's two parts to this build that make it super, super versatile. You're going to be able to pull out your regulars. Hopefully you've already got one because you can't craft one at the moment and do lovely things like that where many, many things go down. Uh, you could use the budget profit at the moment if you wanted to. Uh, that determined talent is kind of OP. Uh, but we're also going to use this gun as well to take stuff down when the range works and do a whole lot of damage as well. And that's kind of how you play in it. If you get up to a door, you're gonna pop out your regulus and you're gonna shoot the regulus, to take everything down. And then when everything else is kind of around, if you can't hit them with your regulus, you're just gonna body shot with your 1886 and take advantage of all the stacks. I've chatted enough, let's see the build. So there's sharpshooter, the 1886 damage to target out of cover and determined. After killing an enemy with a headshot, the next headshot landed on an enemy. It will be guaranteed a headshot. I said the next headshot. The next shot landed on an enemy will be guaranteed a headshot, which is working kind of wonky at the moment with the chain killer because after killing an enemy with a headshot, your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killing blows damage. Damage is capped to 800% of the weapon damage. This is raised to 1250 if your headshot damage is greater than 150. And these two between them seem to have a bit of a super good effect going on right now where you can keep the determined bonus up. Really, really nice. The other gun obviously is going to be the Regulus. I'm actually pretty disgusted with myself. I use this all the time and I've just realized for some reason it's not maxed. I've even got it on expertise level 15. What is that all about? That will be changing soon. Uh, but then we're going to use the punch drunk, uh, not because it gives us some pistol damage, weapon damage, headshot, weapon handling and headshot. Weapon handling we've gone here because I think the reload bonus for the 1886 is really, really nice. So I've taken reload and headshot in the mod slot. We're then going to take the gift, or you can just take a regular Providence backpack, uh, headshot, weapon damage, headshot, weapon handling and headshot. With vigilance, we're using the shield and we can use the shield with both these weapons. So we don't have to worry too much. If we take a shot, we won't lose vigilance. Then we're going to use a chain killer. We get weapon damage. Uh, we get headshots, weapon handling and headshots with the perfect headhunter, what we talked about before. And we get the extended bonus because we've got a lot of headshot damage in here. We're then going to use contractors with headshot damage. Lovely. Foxes with headshot damage. Again, lovely. Damage to target out of cover and damage to armor. Both multiplicative percentages there. Then we're going to use the Dodge City Holster. Weapon handling and headshot plays in absolutely perfect with our stats. And while your pistol is holstered, you gain stacking buff every 0.3 seconds up to 100. 
When you swap to it, your first shot consumes the buff and deals 10% damage per stack. This deals headshot damage wherever you hit. Brilliant. Absolutely lovely. Again, plays in with what we are doing. I haven't actually tried uh, using Determined with, with that. I'm not sure how, how the game's going to react to that. Let's just try it live. So, let's get it up here. Build a couple of stacks. And let's put our damage bonus on. Just so we see what's kind of going on here. So I've got the number for that. And that number there is exactly the same all the time. We're obviously getting some stacks here. But it's hard to tell if we're getting more than we should. We got a small boost in damage. Which is really nice with no stacks. Did you see that? So we got the, the damage for the stacks. In the first shot, which is that one there. And then this next one. Give us a huge boost of damage. So, looks like it plays in really well as well for a, a little bit of extra damage. But, I've got determined on my 1886. I'm using my regulars for that. Right, that's going to be it for the build. So now we can take a look at what we've got here. We've got 210% headshot damage. Definitely what we want. Armor regen. Health damage, we've got none. But don't forget, we've got the damage to target out to cover as well. And if we swap over to our regulars... 245% headshot damage again with the armor damage. The other gun can be whatever you want. I'm going to put some gameplay footage at the end. Uh, me running through a mission in a, a team of two. Be warned. If you're really good at headshots, you'll be better than me. I do all right, I think. I'm getting better at it. It's definitely a gameplay style to get used to. But as long as you get everything dead before they even get a chance to shoot you, you're having an absolutely wonderful time with this build. And if stuff does get a bit rough, you can always switch to the 1886 and just start bodying everything. Uh, it, uh, it makes for really a lot of fun. That's going to be it for the video. Thanks again for all the subs. Do press sub if you're not a sub already while we grind to 10k. Don't forget to come over to Twitch or comment down below what you're running. I would really like to see that. And I might feature it here on the channel giving you some props. Thank you very much for watching Agents and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye. Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sons will be a direct threat to the campus. hostiles in the memorial compound they're moving south there's a gate between you it looks closed from here agent you'll need to find a way to open that gate
distracted. That can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. Since it turned the memorial into a base, there's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. just ID'd those shells as chemical weapons. We can't afford to let the true sons escape with those. You gotta find a way to close up that tunnel. According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars.
good work. Go on and head back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons and eliminated the stronghold near the campus. You should be proud. You saved a lot of lives today. <laughs>